Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you how you can compare two lists. So on the screen, I've got two sets of registrations last week and this week, and I want to compare these two lists. So the function I'm going to use is the match function, and I'll then add a is an A function and then an if statement just to make it a little nicer to look at. But basically the match function will look at this cell uh, to see if it's in this list. If it is in the list, it will return the number, the position it is in the list. If it is not in the list, it will return NA. So let's just have a quick look at that one first off. So equals match, open the bracket. So you select the lookup value, which is this registration, comma, the array, lookup array, is this list, comma, and then zero for an exact match is what I'm going to do. Close the bracket, click the tick. Now, if I go to pull this down, I'm going to get an error message because the list is sliding down, B4 to B10. B5 to B10, up to B11, and so on and so on. So even though it's coming up with some information, it's not correct. So I'm get rid of this. What you need to do is either dollar sign the table, the list with the F4 key, which I'll do there, and then that will work. If I pull that down, if I do double click that down, this is now telling you what position they are, and these two are not in. That is not in this list. But I don't like to use dollar signs if I can avoid it. So what I'm going to do is just delete this. I'm going to name that list. Just call it last. Type it in there, press enter. And so now I can change this reference and all these ugly dollar signs to last. And because it's a fixed list, I can just double click that down and it will pick it up. So I'll just type match at the top. So that was a match function. So now I want to put the word sold or not sold um, if it's basically got NA next to it. So the next one I'm going to do is the is NA. So does this, does this cell return NA? So it's a simple function, this equals is NA. Open the bracket. Is that NA? Obviously it's not. Tick, false, pull it down, you get two trues. So to make this look nice, if I do an if statement, if I say equals if that equals true, comma, that car has been sold. And you have to put sold in quotes like that, comma, or not sold if it's false. Not sold in quotes, close the bracket, click the tick, double click it down, so the two that are sold, you can have it flagged up there, and if you want to put conditional formats on that, let's just do that, new rule, so if it's equal to sold, I want it to be green because we sold it. Green's good. Okay, a quick apply of that to see if it works. Yes, it does. New rule, second one down, equal to not sold. We'll have that going red because that's not good. Red, okay. OK, don't need to apply it. OK, it's going to work. Now, to put all these together, you basically, I'll just put a title at the top there, together. You start off with the match function, well, I am. So I'll start off equals match, open the bracket. So I'm still going to match that with the name range last, comma, Zero for an exact match, close the bracket. But now I want to put is an A around that, is an A, 
open the bracket does all that come back with is na close the bracket at that and then i want to put an if statement around that again so if open bracket so all of that comes back with true it's going to be sold otherwise not sold close the if bracket see if that works not sold double click it down use the format painter for this I don't need to go back in and do that again just get the format painter and wipe it down there like so so that's what you would normally do but I just wanted to show you the steps rather than just jumping straight into this but hopefully that's of use how to compare two lists and get the information that you require putting conditional format on it so we've looked at the match function the is an a function and the if function and a bit of conditional formatting so hopefully that was of use for you thank you for your time and i'll see you on the next one